campus threat. Police take a person of interest into custody after a threat shuts down Harford Community College. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nicole Baker. Well, the sheriff's office obviously took that threat very seriously, and the school closed just after 10 o'clock this morning. Deputies were on the scene for more than five hours today, but they have been tight-lipped about incident details in the incident. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen live on the campus for us in Bel Air with more information tonight. Mike? Nicole and Rick, those sheriff's deputies cleared the scene just before 4 o'clock today. They say while they did take someone into custody, no criminal charges were filed, and they didn't find anything suspicious or concerning here on the campus. The normally full Hartford Community College campus is empty after the school closed down Friday due to what administrators said was a nonspecific threat. They put out this emergency alert just after 10 a.m. I'm glad everyone's safe, so that's good news. Caitlin Bazell came to pick up a transcript. I'm very surprised. And I showed up on campus and nobody was here. The Harford County Sheriff's Office declined to speak on camera, but tweeted that a person of interest was in custody, that there were no reported injuries, and the situation appears to be under control. There were sheriff's vehicles outside the campus library. The sheriff's office did not provide any details about that threat. Harford Technical High School is across the street and was not impacted, according to the school district. I definitely think that's a good thing to get everybody out of here just to be safe. Law enforcement does take these incidents seriously. In 2015 and 2017, Harford Community College was locked down after threats of a shooting. In both of those cases, the threats were deemed unfounded. I didn't even hear about it. Well, at least what they tell us, everybody's safe. Yes, so that's good. And in that latest incident here, the person taken into custody was done, uh, that was done off campus. And again, no criminal charges have been filed. And while the campus is deserted right now, the school says it will be open as usual on Saturday. Reporting live in Bel Air, Mike Helgren, WJZ.